Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and this reading right here, right now, is specifically for our most nurturing. Do 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 do. Yeah, because nurturing means water the plants. <laughs> for Cancer, one of our most beautiful signs in the entire zodiac. All right, here we go. Do 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 do. Okay, as I shuffle the decks, the deck here. Just to let you guys know what's going on, giving you a little 411 action here. For those who don't know, you know, for those who are new to the channel, my name's Sonny. I just sold my music studio in Van City, and I'm over here in the T Dot, and I'm here for a couple of months. And um, so, you know, we're going to make the best of it here <laughs> until we move on. And um, let's see what's going on. So, I'm going to show you still, guys, some stuff around the house here as it were, Castle Sunshine, right? I'm going to show you guys some stuff around the house here is, uh, in, over the next couple of months. And these here are some of the paintings from my sister who passed away a number of years ago. She was an extremely prolific artist and she had a whole series of, she had a bunch of different series, right? Just like I have a bunch of series. So the, and these are some of a uh, particular series of, that she did. We also have those blue metal things are some of my mom, you guys know, talk about her all the time. My mom's run 17 consecutive Boston marathons and counting. In a couple of months, it's going to be 18. Those some of her Boston marathon medals are lying around. Just some of her other medals are all over the house. Her trophies lying all over the floor and all of the mantles and stuff, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and the, uh, I'm just going to show you guys some of the stuff here. There's a lamp behind me. Uh, <laughs> going to the light, Sonny. Uh, <laughs> And it was this absolutely beautiful day to be beautiful, and it's only beautiful because you guys are here to share it with me. It's a beautiful day together. And I say it all the time, you know, like, you can do anything in life by yourself. You don't really need it. You know, you can do whatever you want. We're all complete entities, right? Not really. <laughs> but we do have the capacity to grow and to complete ourselves. But really... It, Really, oh, look at that, Cancer. Peace offerings. Where buffalo, you know, white buffalo calf women. Let's go with this one. We're going to read the ones that pop out of the deck, right? Okay, so that one's there. This one's here. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, just to let you guys know, I was moving, right? So I didn't get any readings done for December. So I'm going to continue the sale till the end of January. All readings are 50% off. And then I'm going to kick in the 2018 prices in February. If you want a personal reading, then simply message me above. Do, 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 and I'll do my best to get back to you. And what else is going on? The uh, Off the top of my head, um, right now, we've got some... Right now, we have... Uh, Mar Astro okay, okay. <laughs> so that's what's going on right now. In addition to that, um, uh, I'm doing a ton of live streams right now. So if you want one of these uh, tarot readings and you know you can't afford the 50% off or something, then simply tune into one of the live streams and I give tons and tons and tons. There are about five live streams a week that are like four hours each. So like with tons and tons of live uh, tarot readings for only you know, there's a suggested donation of five bucks. You can do a little more if you like. That would be nice. <laughs> All right. Anyways, that's the action with that. Uh, just to let you guys know. And uh, what else is going on? So, reading these cards from... Um, oh, but when you get a personalized reading, it's astrology-based. I am a professional astrologer. I do write the horoscopes for them in the newspapers here, as well as give you guys professional um, psychic tarot readings here. It's kind of fun. I've been doing this for a long time. Anyways, that's the action. Let's get down to it. Now, just off the top of my head, the uh, now I don't know what's going on in your individual chart, right? Obviously, I don't. I'm doing my best here. But unless I see your actual birth date and time, I'm not going to know exactly what's going on. But if I do figure it out right away, right? But the um, right now, uh, Mars is cruising through Scorpio, which is kicking up a major fight. It's making Scorpios extremely argumentative, um, competitive, and confrontational, which is not a good thing because Scorpio is like a dick at the best of times, right? But that energy is flowing through Cancer's relationship astro sector. So, uh, not relationships, ca Cancer's romance astro sector and Cancer's astro sector of children. So for Cancer, there's a, and it's going to be there until the end of January, and then February, Cancer is going to get super busy. But for the next couple of, you know, the next couple of weeks now until the end of January, Cancer's got to watch their children, 
children of cancers are going to get sick. Cancers um, have to watch their romantic uh, situation. They might be out on a date, or like in on a date, right? It's cancers invite people home. So cancer might uh, be fighting with their romantic partners. And that's just the way it is, you know? So, you know, what do you want, to, what do you want me to say, cancer? You know, like... 2017 ended up on an extremely shit note for a lot of signs and you know a lot of people did some dumping on each other and you know cancer is one of the signs that people dump on you know and some of the signs like Scorpio was extremely stressed out and uh, Taurus was extremely stressed out and um, who else is stressed out Libra's worried about money all of a sudden and then we get like Gemini and Sagittarius were like all fucked up for 2017. And then at the end, very end of 2017, there was a, all the shit came blowing back in. It was like, what the f But like, but I told you guys this in the, the weekly uh, horoscopes, you know, I write for the newspapers. Here and get it. <laughs> I told you guys in the horoscopes, there's going to be a slingshot effect that's going to happen. You're going to cruise through and it's like, oh man, we're going to make it. Everything's going to be cool. And the bullshit's going to come right back. And then there's a little bit more bullshit, you know, as you pull the bow back, pull it back once more, and they're like, what the fuck? And then you let it go, and then 2018, it's going to be an absolutely beautiful year. Just give it a chance, you know? And uh, Jupiter is cruising through that astro sector. So, like, astrologically, Cancer, you are one of our most beautiful signs. You are, like, our, one of our number one loving and beautiful signs. So, like, you're also one of our darkest signs, too. Ooh. <laughs> but, like... Just do what I, you know, just believe, you know, just have some trust, have some faith and know that, you know, just have confidence in love, you know, you know, I know a lot of cancers internalize the situation around you, but like it, when it goes inside the shell, like if there's a crack in the shell, it's going to go, the toxicity is going to go into the shell and it can't get out. You know, what do you want me to do? Sonny, there's a crack in the shell every time he's good. Okay, I get it. And I don't believe in he uh, shielding either. But, like, I get it. So, like... But it's not... If it's not poison, don't make it poison. You know? So just, you know... So it's, don't, if it's not poison, that's all I gotta say. Let's get on with the readings here. It's together, it's a beautiful day. All you have to do, Cancer, is believe in love and let love win the day. If it's, you know, if it's not an attack, don't treat it like an attack. If it's an attack, treat it like an attack, right? <laughs> Fight back, you guys are some, like, snip-ass motherfuckers. <laughs> like, if it's not an attack, don't treat it like an attack. And just let love, you know, let love guide you, you know? Let love in through that little crack in the shell and go fill your, your you know, <laughs> your sexy little crabby insides with love. And <laughs> fuck, <laughs> you know, what am I doing? Okay, enough. Let's get down to the reading. Anyways, this is an extra special reading because cancer is super important to me. Those who don't know, my nieces are cancer. Cancers, my sister who died is a cancer. You know, there's a lot of cancer energy around me. My sister got a tattoo, my sister who's alive, got a, a tattoo, a cancer tattoo symbol here for her kids. And for those who don't know, the love of my life, SLC, who handles all the business here on the sunny side, she's a sexy little crab. And, you know, I love you, baby. This, this reading is for you and all of your sideways, <laughs> snideways, snipping little <laughs> crabby buddies. Here we go. Peace offerings. And on the sunny side here, we have a lot, a lot of cancers here. Here we go. Cancers. It's going to be... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> White buffalo calf woman. You guys got that? What? Oh, that's a pretty easy one. Oh, this is a pretty cool card. All right. White buffalo calf woman is a, um, a prophetess who appeared at the Lakota Native Indians to the Lakota Native Indians. She presented Lakotas, the Lakotas, with a special pipe to amplify the power of their prayers and to bridge a connection between earth and heaven. 
As she turned the leaves to the tribe, she turned to leave the tribe. She turned into a buffalo of different colors to signify the unity of all races of humanity. She promised that she would return to help bring unity and peace to Earth. You guys got that little crabs? <laughs> she promised that she would return to help bring unity and peace to Earth. The sign of her return would be the birth of a white buffalo calf. So call upon white buffalo calf woman to instill harmony in your relationships and for world peace. Remember, it's together that's a beautiful day. Okay, here we go. Peace offerings. This card heralds a resolution, the resolution of an argument or misunderstanding. Those involved in the situation are ready to forgive and forget. Be open to seeing the other. This is the first time I'm seeing this particular card. I just got this. This is deck belongs to my dad. And when I came back to the T dot, he's recommending that I present it to you guys. And I am. And we're doing it on the weekly tarot readings. And everybody seems to love it. Not like the live streams, right? So here we go. Those involved in the situation are ready to forgive and forget. Be open to seeing the other person's point of view to soften any hard feelings. As you allow compassion into the situation, love's healing power ensures that everyone's needs are met harmoniously. Leave the details about how the situation will be resolved to the infinite wisdom of, the sp of spirit. Add me... Okay, okay. Additionally, be willing to forgive. Have compassion for everyone involved in the situation, including yourself. All right? Including yourself. Okay. Okay. Accept another's apology and see the humor in the situation. You know, back when I was a hypnotherapist, you know, and I wish used to work downtown Toronto here, back downtown T Dot, you know, and I, I sprinkle some of this in all of my meditations. I like to say that. All wounds heal. Yeah, even cancer's wounds heal. All wounds heal. But no wounds will ever heal if you keep picking at it, right? How do you heal a shell, Sonny? Shells don't heal. That's a good question. Well, one of the first ways to let things heal is to, you know, according to this reading here, as we're beginning anyways, is uh, peace offerings. And let this, you know, the divine energy, you know, let love, let love heal that, you know, sexy little shell of yours. Next. Do, 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 do. These are the Turo. This is the Turo deck that I've been reading for the last little while. This is the one that my sexy little crab got me. And it resonates quite harmoniously with me. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Harmony. Okay, whatever, Sonny. Let's get back to work here. All right. So I like to think of this as Taurus energy, and but it's a cross between Taurus energy and a cross. It's the Empress, right? A cross between Taurus energy, all the good stuff in Taurus, and all the good stuff in Cancer. But traditionally, it's actually Venus energy, right? And in these cards, there's usually in the Empress, there's usually a symbol of Venus in there somewhere. Okay. So that's the action with that, and. Um, but in this one, it has the phoenix, which is a symbol of rebirth, right? It's also symbol is also the phoenix is more than rebirth for those. Okay, I don't usually go into the symbolisms in these readings, but I'll let you guys know. So the phoenix is a symbol of rebirth. The phoenix is known as the songbird of Arabia, and the phoenix vocal cord, the phoenix singing, is uh, the five notes of the pentatonic scale that we're all used to hearing. If you're used to hearing that kind of music, you know, like. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, the phoenix used to sit by itself, sit by itself by a well, and uh, just sing to itself using the pentatonic scale. Ooh, right, and um, you know that's that's the deal. And everyone knows the other side of the phoenix story about when the phoenix combusts. You know, it combusts and it dies, and then it it uh, emerges from the ashes. But there's more than that. The phoenix was an incredibly solitary animal, incredibly powerful and solitary bird. They just sang their singing a beautiful song all by itself, right on the, um, you know, over the well, the fountain of knowledge, the fountain of youth, youth, the fountain of universal life. Right? You guys got that? Anyways, this card signifies a birth, right? 
maybe a pregnancy. Woo, go cancer! Except that for cancer, Mars is in your fifth house astrologically. You know, to clarify all of this up, I have to look at your chart personally, right? And see how everything spins and locates itself. And if you want me to do that, obviously, email me above. But for the action going on here, you know, Mars is in the fifth house astrologically for cancer, in, you know, generally. So that means um, you're going to have problems with children. It's a difficult time conceiving right now so you better be, so be careful but this card anyways is venus energy and it does mean a pregnancy now in the story of tarot which we're reading right here <laughs> it says you know we have the inception of an idea through the fool card and then the magician gives form to everything and then the high priestess is all of the conscious energy and it's the path you have to travel until you come into uh, incarnation which is you know life itself and life happens right before this card. Venus attract. Venus is attraction energy. So whenever I say, hey, you know, love is waiting for you at the gym, that's Venus in the sixth house. Venus, love and attraction. Sixth house, physical health. Love waiting for you at the gym. Right now, that's not what's happening. Where's Venus right now? <laughs> Venus is in... The, well, you guys are going to have to tune into the live stream or the weekly horoscopes to figure that one out. <laughs> but... This is Venus energy. It's a, so it's Venus. It's beauty, love, grace, but it's definitely nurturing, and it means the birth of something, which is not so weird because it's the beginning of a new year. It's January, and the slingshot effect is happening. Next, Wheel of Fortune. This is the end of one story and the beginning of another story. Not story, chapter. And um, when this card comes up, you really can have absolutely everything you want to have. It's like you should take a chance. You know, you should buy a lottery ticket. Mars is in the fifth house, is in Scorpio. That's gambling. Fifth house is gambling. You, astrologically, you might not win any lottery tickets. But according to the Tarot, you just might win a lottery if you buy the lottery. If you play your cards right, you just might win. So if you buy a lottery ticket, cancer, you just might win. And that's what's going on. But it's a mechanical, the Wheel of Fortune is a mechanical wheel. And it does work, and it does open and unlock doors. You see, look at this like a combination lock, right? And you see the eagle there? We have Scorpio energy in this card, you know? We've got Leo energy, Taurus energy in this card, Aquarius energy in this card. This is a fixed sign. Tor Cancer, one of the fixed signs. You know, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, or Aquarius is going to play very strongly into your new beginning, and they're going to play very strongly into your fortunes. So if you want to take things to the, you know, do anything, <laughs> I mean, it's 2000 and... It's 2018, and we do have the birth of something. Then you gotta, you should look to the fixed signs to help inspire and guide you. And finally, one of our most psychic signs, if not our num numero uno psychic sign, Cancer. The um, this is chariot, and chariot represents Cancer in the Tarot. Now, now it's not like you know like. This, I like to think of Cancer and Taurus. This is the nurturing, take care of everyone sign. This means things are running out of control. Now, there's a little bit of things here. This card means that you can't articulate yourself. So if there's something is spinning out of control and you can't control and you don't know what to do, like, oh my God, see, you're like, whatever. You're like, it could be good stuff going out of control. It could be bad stuff going out of control. But you can't talk to anybody about it. It also means your journey's already begun. You're already sp left the kingdom, and you've already hit the boogie, and you're making your action to your next to your next kingdom. So whatever's going on, Cancer, you've already checked out of one, and you're heading to the next one, and you're going as fast as you can. Now, it's the chariot, so you're gonna get there a lot faster than you realize. But it's also the chariot; it's not like the race car or rocket ship, and that means when you get there, you're gonna have to jiggle things a little bit to make it through because uh, the chariot will bring you up to the front gate but then you're going to have to dismount the chariot and walk in yourself that's the action anyways we've got cancer energy and cancer energy and venus energy and all of the fixed signs next finally do 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 cancer oh fortune sticks this is all the stuff we do in our uh, live streams. So I thought I'd share it with you guys to start the year. Once again, for clarity, for individual stuff, message me above and um, everything is 50% off until the end of January. 
Here we go, Cancer. You must be honest, straight, and true, or your plans will fail. Honest, straight, and true, or your plans will fail. And that's the action. From the sunnyside.net, I gotta spend a special shout out to my sexy little crab. I super love you, sexy. You, you know, you're the absolute best thing that ever happened to me in this life. And quite sincerely, I wouldn't even be here doing these videos if it wasn't for you. So, anyways, that's the action. From the sunnyside.net, mm -hmm. I'm Maestro Dussolet, wishing everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful week. <laughs> January. <laughs> and I'll see you guys soon.